biggest challenge for me to be in my own business is to keep my mouth shut and just go and do it. Well, being a trans woman, uh, there's lots of hurdles. There's lots of prejudices and stigma us related to uh, the trans community. The challenge being a woman in a, a business, you know, that challenges the black woman on top of that. That's just, you know, that's definitely, that's why I don't ever sit down. <laughs> when I went to FIT, I had a been running the business for years already on social media and I had Etsy's, Amazon, all kinds of accounts I would sell products on. And my professors really discouraged me actually from allowing me to use my business as an example. So a lot of the guys on the cruise would come up to me and, and say, oh, is your husband home? And I'd be like, you're working for me. I think what happens for women in general in business is that uh, we, we struggle with that dynamic of being nurturing and mothering and caring and also being what, what a business calls for, which is to sometimes be tough. My contributions to male-owned businesses were not taken seriously and or were um, put on a shelf. A lot of misogynistic viewpoints when you're going for loans or when you're going for funding or even trying to promote yourself. I know when I was younger, back in my 20s and doing things, it was really slanted towards uh, the male being dominant. And there's been times when you have to play with the bad guy, you know, and you've got to be okay with that because women don't like to, to be in that role. My word of advice for aspiring business owners, especially women and everything going into business is don't give up, just endure through it. If you don't have passion, then you don't have a business. And as a female business owner, you definitely gotta work 10 times harder. But at the end of the day, know how to come back to yourself and listen to your own voice and trust yourself. I am more vibrant today at 75 than I've ever been in my whole life. I'm writing music, I'm playing my guitar. I'm writing books. I'm working with people who need my help in order to learn how to be their own revolutionary healer.